Here's how you reset Bluetooth connections on Apple Magic Trackpad. First, I'm going to show you how to do this on the newer trackpads that have a built-in battery, and then show how to reset the old version that has removable batteries. If you have a new Magic Trackpad, it will usually show up under your Bluetooth settings where you can connect it to your computer. But if you're using a trackpad that was previously paired with another computer, you might not see it under your Bluetooth settings since it's already married to another computer. The easiest way to override the existing connections and get your trackpad communicating with your Mac is to simply connect it to your computer with the lightning cable. Plug in the cable and your trackpad will instantly connect to your computer and it will stay connected even after you unplug the cable. This same trick works with the Magic Mouse and Apple's wireless keyboard. If you have the older trackpad that doesn't have a USB connection, the process is a little different. I don't have a trackpad to demonstrate this, so I'll use my keyboard instead. The process is the same on both. First, press and hold down the power button until you see the indicator light turn off. Then tap the power button once, and you should see the indicator light start flashing. This means your trackpad is now in pairing mode, and it will become available under your Bluetooth settings. If your trackpad doesn't go into pairing mode when you power it back on, Repeat the process, but instead of a single tap, press and hold the power button and keep holding it until you see the indicator light flash. After that, go to your Bluetooth settings and connect your trackpad.